everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, it's Luminar AI. I just received a few days back the uh, beta version so I could share it with you. I spent a couple of days just playing around with it, just getting familiar with it. I have three images to show you today. I have uh, this one right here. It's a portrait. And then I have uh, a flower image and I have a landscape image. So I thought I would share these uh, three images with you today. I'm going to use uh, templates on two of the images and on the last image, which will be the landscape image, I'm going to do just a, a basic straightforward little edit on it just to show you, yes, you can edit without templates, without... Uh, artificial intelligence if you don't want to use it okay because there are still a ton of filters in uh, side of uh, luminar ai that do not even use artificial intelligence so you know you can have fun editing to your heart's content let's get started let's turn our attention to the top of the interface here you notice we have uh catalog templates edit and export and then over to the right, we have a uh, split screen view, uh, before and after view, and a zoom level view, right? or zoom level adjustment right here. If you click it, fit the screen, and so on and so forth. You can do all that stuff. Now, on the right-hand side of the interface, you'll notice I'm in the template mode, so it says for this photo. Right now, the magic wand is checked on, so that's where all our templates are living. If you go to the icon below at the star, that's called My Collection. That's where your favorite... Also, your user templates and your legacy templates all live inside there. But right now, uh, Luminar AI is suggesting uh, these particular uh, template groups, black and white, uh, easy portraits, and essence. And we can click on these groups. For instance, let's click on black and white. And when we do, it's given us these different templates to choose from. Okay, so the first one is elegant matte. Let's go ahead and give it a click, and voila, there's the elegant matte template, okay? And let's click on the next one, soulful. That's pretty cool. Let's try film grain. Obviously, we're going to see some film grain in here, and I love film grain on black and white, so that looks really cool. Here's one called lighthouse, and here's one called low key. So that's a bunch of black and white. So it's in the black and white collection. Now, if you click on templates, see the back arrow here, click on here. And now we can go here and let's take a look at easy portraits. Let's see if we can find something in here that we like. Now here's high key. Here's tack sharp. I like it. You can see her freckles popping out in her face. Let's try fade. I like the faded look. Here's vignette and here's low key. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So far, vignette is winning for me. And let's explore a little bit more. Let's try the essence here. Let's try flawless. Okay, let's try Rembrandt. Let's try fashionista. If I'm saying that right. Oh, I like that one. Mm, that one might be winning for me. Marquee. And you did you see the face change a little bit? So we're using some uh, face AI for that one. And here's still frame. Okay. So I think Fashionista is winning so far. So remember that. Remind me if I forget. Okay. Let's go back to templates. Now, you have different things here like essentials for people, quick portrait solutions, landscape. And you have wildlife. You have different things for portrait here. For instance, you can go to experimental. Let's go to experimental and see what's in here. Here's one called Burn Film. I'm just trying to pique your interest today to see what you think. And please give me comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts in the all new Luminar AI. Are you excited about it or not? You know, good or bad, let me know. And remember this, this is a pre-release build. All the features are not yet fully developed yet. So that means that, you know, they might make some changes. Uh, they're gonna add some things, maybe change some things. But these are the experimental looks. They're pretty cool. I'm going to go back to templates. Now, what was the one I wanted to use? It was in essence, I believe. And oh, yes, fashionista. Let's start out with this one right here. And then we'll go ahead and make some adjustments from here. Now, next, after we choose our template, we can go to edit and then we can work on our edits. Let's check out the editing. Now, you're going to find some familiar looking things over here on the right hand side of the interface. Essentials, just like Luminar 4, Creative, Portrait, Pro, and we have this new icon here called Local Masking. I'm not going to get in, into that today, but it's really cool. Uh, and I think they're still working on some things there. So we're going to stay out of there. I think it's under construction, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to stay out of there for now. But let me let me just show you some things here. Under Essentials, 
we have the all new composition AI. So if you click on this, and if you click on composition right here, it'll uh, suggest a composition for you. And Luminar says to me, hey Dave, this is the composition we suggest for you. Now, Luminar have uh, used different professional photographers and they uh, fed tons of different croppings suggestions into the uh, artificial intelligence for composition AI. And this is the composition it gave me. Now you can change your aspect ratios and things like that, but I'm going to go ahead and accept this. All you need to do is uh, type your return key in your keyboard and it will accept that crop. But that's composition AI, all new, pretty cool stuff. Whenever you're using a template, any, uh, any tool you see highlighted means it has a change done to it. For instance, if I click on light, you can see there's been some adjustments here. The tone curve has been adjusted. Uh, Enhance AI has been adjusted here to like a plus 20. And uh, some color adjustments here have been made. As well as details and some denoising have been done. Then we can go to the creative tab. You can see uh, a mood tool has been used. Now this mood tool would be the same as Luminar 4's uh, LUT tool. Okay, so we're using a LUT on this particular image. And then if we go to portrait, we can see the different uh, tools inside of here. And this particular template is used the face AI and the skin AI. So if I click on face AI, you can see it's used the slim face, the slim the face a little bit. Now, of course, we can do make any changes we want in here. For instance, face light, we can give it some face light if we wanted to. I want to show you something very cool in here. And it's found in this eyes section right here. See where it says iris here? Right now it says original. This is a drop down dialog, so give it a click. And you notice we have all these different colors in here, okay? These are eye colors here. So watch my model's eyes here. I'm going to change them to blue by just clicking this blue here, and they magically change the blue. Now that's really blue, and you may like that, but I think it's a little too strong. And the template have set this visibility at 80, so I'm going to pull it back to something a little more reasonable to say like a 42. And then you also have this iris flare. I'm gonna move this to the right and watch the bottoms of her eyes when I move this to the right. See that little flare come in there? Now I'm just gonna back it off just so I can barely see it. But it adds a little bit of, uh, I don't know, just a little bit of extra quality to those eyes. And then we have an eye enhancer here where we can make those eyes sparkle a little bit more. So pretty cool stuff. And that's all under the face here. We started out with the template. We made a few little adjustments, a few little tweaks. So you can tweak to your heart's content, add uh, tools, take tools away, whatever you want to do. But let's take a look at our before and after. Here's a little eye before and after eyeball right here, this little eye icon, give it a click, hold it down, left click it with your mouse. There's the original raw file and here is after Luminar AI. Next up we have a yellow rose and Luminar AI has suggested nature, objects, and savannah. Let's click on nature first and see what we get. We have all these different templates inside of here. Let's try the first one, Newt Noir, which is probably going to be black and white. And that's a really nice black and white conversion. Let's try Sunny Small. Let's just click through some of these and see if we get one we like. Man, there are so many decisions here. Hey, let me know when you see one you like. Okay, there's Micro World. There's distinctive drops. Now, there are some dew drops in here, as you can see right here. So that brings them out. Here's Best Close Up. Okay. Arctic Atoms. Okay, that's not bad. I like the color on this one. Let's go back and try objects here. Let's try the perfect macro. Now, you know that one's got to be it, right? Yeah, I like it, but I'm not going to choose it, I don't think. I might come back to it. Here's still life. Now, I do like this. I love the color in here. I like, I like artistic looking flower images, and I'm thinking I'm really happy with that right there. I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to focus on that one. Let's try some other ones. Brilliance here. Let's not be hasty. Surface tension. Okay. Noir objects. Another beautiful black and white uh, conversion. That looks nice. And razor probably for razor sharp macros. Yeah, look at the detail here. I don't like what's happening in the background. Hey, I'm going back to still life. I like it. So there's still life. Now, if I come up and click on edit, You'll notice light is highlighted, so I'm going to click on light, and this is the essentials group right here, so I'm going to click on light, and this is the only adjustment they're using here. And what have they done here? Nothing on the exposure, smart contrast, or anything there. Now, we can come and change any of the stuff we want. They changed some things here in a curve. They gave me a little bit of a fade on a curve. 
you know, uh, faded out my shadows a little bit or the, the darker tones and pulled down the highlights a little bit. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, you know, we could come in here and give it some smart contrast if we wanted to. Yeah, maybe just a little bit or take some of that smart contrast away. Let's add a little bit of smart contrast. That looks pretty cool. And the other thing they did was, and whenever you see a dot in these groups right here, that means there's something been altered with that template. So let's click that and we can see they've used mood, which is a LUT. And I do like the LUT they use, but we can go in there and change it if we want to. They added some film grain here. So if we zoom in here, we can see some film grain on this image here. If you don't like the grain, we can come here and just say, uh, we're going to take that amount. We can pull that amount to the left or just uh, toggle it off here. I'm going to toggle it off. I don't want any film grain. Well, let's go ahead up and click on the eye here and hold it down. Here's the before and here's the after. A pretty cool result. I'm really happy with it. And now we move on to our third and final image. This one's a landscape. I'm going to just edit this one straightforward. I'm not going to use any templates. You don't have to. For those of you out there saying, man, I don't want this new Luminar AI. I don't want artificial intelligence to make my edit for me. Man, you can make your own edit and still use the power of artificial intelligence in certain of the tools, which is really nice. So just like in Luminar 4, you can do all your editing yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and click on composition. Let me use the power of artificial intelligence here. Click on composition, and it's suggesting that composition. Let's just say that's great. All right, so what I'm going to do is type my return key, and that'll accept that crop. All right, so now let's go to light. And real fast here, I'm just going to go through and maybe open my whites up a little bit. Oh, by the way, to get your histogram, I always like to have my histogram up. Just go to view and click on show histogram, which is right there. So let's adjust our white point. Let's adjust our black point where we think it should be. Let me open up the shadows a little bit on this image right here. Maybe just pull these highlights back a slight amount. Let's give it some smart contrast. Already it's looking pretty cool. I think the exposure is good and I'm happy with the uh, temperature here. I'm not gonna mess with it. Let's move on to Enhance AI. I always use Enhance AI. I think it really helps. So let's turn up Accent AI. Not too much, a little bit here. A little bit of Sky Enhancer. Maybe a little more Accent AI, just a little bit. Let's go to Structure, add a little Structure Boost to this image, just a little tiny bit. And of course, we can go to Color here and make some adjustments here if we feel we need it. I might just give it a little bit of Vibrance. Yeah, a little vibrance boost. I think that's good. And of course, we have our HSL here. We can do things. But this is a real quick, fast edit. And of course, details. I'm going to give it a little bit of sharpening. Just a little bit of sharpening here. And uh, get rid of some of the noise in here. I'm doing this real quick. I'm not even zooming in. But zoom in and really do it right. But I'm going to get rid of some of the noise and a little bit of the color noise right like that. And let's go to landscape. I always like landscape. We can dehaze if there's any haze. This is not very hazy at all. And so I don't need that. So let's add a little golden hour. We're not in the golden hour, but I just like to add a little bit always on my landscape images. I think it warms them up slightly. So right there. And now we have foliage enhancer. If we move this to the right, it's going to make the foliage pop out a little more like the greens and things like that. And sometimes it can get a little nuclear. So if you come to the advanced settings and go to your foliage view, uh, you can go ahead and adjust this. Okay. So you can back off in that nuclear green look right there. And I might just pull the foliage enhancer back a little bit right there. And then lastly, let's go up here to creative. And I always like the mystical filter here. So I'm going to add a little mystical filter to this. I think for this fall scene of this cornfield, you know, a little mystical look will look good in this image. So we'll add some of that. We can play with our shadows. Okay. And then we can work with the saturation and warmth of it. I think everything looks good. And uh, and don't forget you're under the glow section here. That's where your um, Orton effect lives now. So that's important. And let's click this eyeball up here. Here's the before. And here's the after. So looking pretty cool. I have a little uh, dust spot here. And that might be a bird flying. So let, we can get rid of that with the eraser tool. So let's go back to the essentials tab and click on erase. This is non-destructive erasing. You don't need a special layer for it, which is really nice. And you can adjust your brush radius size here. And I'll just click on this little bird. I don't want him in here. And 
I know there's probably some sensor spots around here. I'm just looking maybe right here. Okay. So then just click erase and that'll go ahead and erase it. Give it a second or two here to finish it off. And there we go. So I can close this erase group here. There we go. It's gone. Let's click on the split screen. And we can see, there we go, the before on the left, the after on the right, pretty cool. And again, here's the before and here's the after. So that's an edit without the use of a template. So uh, kind of editing without a net. So pretty cool stuff. Well, there you go. Three images uh, edited with Luminar AI. A portrait, a flower image, and lastly, it was a landscape image. Now, the last image I edited uh, just without any templates, so did it by hand, so to speak. So there's a lot of flexibility here in Luminar AI. I think it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see the final results of it, but this is a first look uh, beta for you, so you can get your eyes on it and see what you think. Again, leave me comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear from you. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.